Hey, top of the morning to you guys. Happy Friday, by the way. We're gonna get started forming this one, which is the same as this guy, it's just that it's reversed. Which, while it doesn't sound difficult, it can be. Anyway, have a great Friday. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I thought what we would do in this series is just break things down into much smaller steps. Uh, no pun intended, because the foundation does have some steps on the left. This was a Friday, and this entire footing got set up on that Friday. Which, if you work in the trades, you know that Fridays can be a little rough. Anyway, here's just an overview. This is footing number two. It's exactly the same as the one on the right, except it's flipped. So they mirror each other. I think I'm saying that right. That means that we have to kind of sometimes do stuff backwards in our head. It's not difficult, but it is amazing how many mistakes you can make when the plans are reversed. I'm just gonna let the time lapse roll as an intro to the video. That gives you an overview of what the footing looks like, its footprint. You're also gonna see us raise it to grade. Actually, I think you might have already seen that in the time lapse. You're gonna see us line the footings with a form liner right there. I'm gonna get into that in a future video at length. What a cool product. But anyway, in this video, what I wanted to show is raising to grade. Since we're using two by six forms, but the engineer called out 12 inches deep, well, how does that work? Well, I will show you. It's a lot cheaper to use two by sixes than two by 12s, and it is a lot easier to use them up. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Yeah. Okay, we are killing it for a Friday. This is the first time we've gotten a chance to start fresh, and it's all about starting fresh, right? Right, Noah? That's what I'm saying. So fresh and so clean. Thanks. So fresh and so clean. Noah, what's rule number 29? Always. Okay, Noah, you got a pouch full of screws. I do. Let me grab. That would probably be good. Hopefully we have enough. If we don't, you know, I can get some at Lowe's. All right, Noah, so remember what we did last time? Yep. What did we do last time? You held the thing, and then we both lifted it up, and then once it went, I screwed it. Okay, what was step number one? So we got to find the high spot. Yeah. So where do you think the high spot is? Oh yeah. Um. Probably right here. Here or there? But I think here. You say there? Okay. Let's see. This is a critical step. What we're trying to do is find the high spot. Our minimum concrete depth is 12 inches, as per the structural engineer. So I'm running around with the grade stick and the detector. We've got the Stabila rotary laser. I think it's the LAR350. I'll put a uh, link in the description. And I'm gonna go ahead and find the high spot and then I'm gonna set it so that we're 12 inches deep at that point. Now sometimes you can scrape away the dirt because let's just say the dirt guys didn't do a very good job. We don't wanna pay for extra concrete. However, the excavators here did an outstanding job. At the deepest, we were 12 and a half. And then of course at the shallowest, we were at our 12 inch minimum. So nice job, Robert Lockwood and Associates. You guys killed it, made our life very easy. Giddy up. Um, go ahead and screw that one in too. You'll notice that we're using screws for everything. All of our footing boards are attached with screws and we attach all of our stakes. That's easier on the body at this point and easier to strip. Dude, we could have totally poured this later this afternoon. <laughs> right? Okay. So we gotta go down a quarter, so knock it once. That's right, because we didn't. One more time. Good. Okay, let's check here. I'm just gonna go up a hair. I was putting pressure. You could tap it down once. Nah, we're good. Yeah. Okay, and the, what we'll do just to make Kyle's life easier, go ahead and screw that guy. Okay. Anything that makes Kyle's life easier. Exactly. I could do this alone, but I like to have somebody with me, especially if I'm training. And that way they learn the process, they learn the acceptable tolerances, that kind of thing. But the real star here is that pickaxe. Somebody uh, either here on YouTube or Instagram suggested it. Oh man, does that make things easy. Good. Yep. 
So this guy should be good enough. Okay, not bad. Right on the money. Screw it, Noah. Okay, I got my 10,000 steps. Ready? Yeah, it must be a footing day. You could give it a tap. I think we're gonna be right there. That's good. Yep. No, we'll uh, no. We'll go right here. Cause that way it still needs to pivot. Like friends. Right there. Okay, that guy you could just, just lightly tap. And we'll do this and then we'll check it. Okay. Right there. Okay, let's do that side. If it beeps fast, yeah, right on the money. Okay, let's go check that. Yep. So if we like this, then I'll have you screw all this. So that's a quarter up. I think just lightly. Okay, I'm gonna check this now, but I'll probably have you. That's like nothing. I say screw them all off. Okay. Get out of your way. You could hear us sloshing around the water over there. We just didn't have time to have the excavators dig a small trench and drain it. And then we just kept getting rain and sun, rain and sun. You could hear the wind on the microphone. It's been, been actually a pretty tough spring. Okay, so here's the process. I'm working the outside with Noah. We're using 20 foot, two by six footing boards. So we go end to end and then we check the middle. And so we just do that all the way around the outside. And, and you notice that I just kept checking here and there. As you raise things, you can kind of feel or sense that maybe something else moved. And so always double check yourself twice. <laughs> because this is an important step, right? We're gonna pour concrete, we gotta get it correct. Get it right now, save a lot of headache later. Once the outside is all raised to level, we call that raised to grade, then we just work our way around with the spirit level. These are two foot footings with some two foot six footings. Yep. So I'm just using a four foot spirit level. If another guy has a level, he'll come from the opposite corner and we'll work toward each other or we'll start close and we'll work opposite each other. It, it doesn't matter. But basically what we do is we level across at each of the stakes that we had already attached a screw to. Normally what we would do is as we level, we level opposite the stake that had already been screwed from the outside and then we fill in all the remaining stakes. You know, just do a once around on the inside, once around on the outside. Since we oh, had a third a person, stake. once I got far enough ahead, then Noah could Carrying come behind and he could around. just finish off those screws. And since I ran out of stakes, it's walk all the way to the front, grab some. <laughs> it's just a lot of walking on footing day. This little Fiskars three pound mall, I think we've had this guy for like five years. That is a definite must. The three pounds is a good weight because it's not too heavy for your wrist. You don't wear yourself out, but it has enough force to drive those stakes into. We were basically down to hard pan at this point. So metal stakes were a must. I'm watching the bubble on the spirit level and then I just add a screw. You can see why we like to use screws is because I'm not just wailing on the form or the stake and moving things around. So it's a more gentle way. And it turns out it's not any slower, it's faster. You could argue that it is more expensive. You know, a lot of those screws we can't reuse, but I just buy cheapo screws. So, I don't know, maybe for an extra 10 bucks a, a foundation. I think screws are totally yeah, worth it. if you it. wanna just fill in behind me. Giddy up, brah. I don't know if giddy up means like, 
No, no one really knows what it means. Okay. The order of operations, similar to the outside, it's ends and middle. In this case, we go from two foot to two foot six, so I'm at the end. Then I just go to the other end, because it's a short enough run that I know yeah. that two by six doesn't have a major crown in it, and even a quarter inch, that really doesn't matter on footings. Uh, then I go and I level front oh, to back, raise it and screw it, and then I'm gonna check side to side. Okay, you know, I want here. that corner to be, to be as close as possible, we'll but I'm not here. building furniture here. And we're gonna we're gonna pour concrete. Yeah, Things yeah, are going to it. move. We take that into account, so we don't go crazy with yeah. tolerances at footings. A quarter inch is acceptable. What we really want is we want a flat footing to make stacking walls easier. When we snap lines and shoot grade inside of our forms, that's when we want to be as precise as possible. Footings, there is some tolerance. There's actually quite a bit of tolerance. We want square and parallel. We want level and flat. But level and flat don't have to be like polished, <laughs> you know, like you're at a big box store the, and the floor is perfect. It, this is not, does not require perfection. There's no advantage to perfection, by the way. Okay, so now we're done with this upper level. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the laser down that two foot step. We're gonna raise that to grade and I want that step. Rotary lasers are your friend. It only takes a second. Basically, I walk over there, get it roughly level. The laser self levels. I go ahead and set the detector, and we do the but same gonna thing. They're going to have to come back out anyway. You know, just like that, we are raised to grade. Lunchtime. Hey, the sun's coming out, so it's time to switch to sunglasses. I think we'll run the fast form, and then call it a weekend. Extremely productive day. This is three and a half hours worth of work to this point. You guys, you guys are just doing such a good job. That was killing it. Mm -hmm. yep. no. It is definitely nice to have three people. <laughs> but hey, I hit 10,000 steps half hour ago. And no rain. No rain. So productive morning. It's not because we're moving fast and flying. It's just steady rhythm and try not to make mistakes. Everything is square. It's parallel, it's staked in, and it only took us, I think, 40 minutes. I think I have to look at the timestamps. I think 40 minutes to raise that to grade. Now, after lunch, what we're gonna get into is we're gonna line those forms with the footing liner. And that is what allows us to use two by sixes with the 12 inch footing. But we're gonna get into that more specifically. I really wanna show the content on that really, really fast. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope that the slower, you know, smaller pieces is, is more instructive. And just remember, I'm not showing the best way to do something. You might look and think, well, I could do this way smarter if I just did X, Y, or Z. Do it. And please let me know because I would like to improve as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.